How many times can you reload the same casing? Okay guys, today I packed up my entire press, video that here, reset it up all up here, and now we are gonna reload a bunch of nine millimeter casings over and over and over to see how many times you can actually do it. Um, I've I had this question, I've seen other people have this question, and I've never seen anybody have a legit answer. Usually people say something like, you're gonna lose the casing before it wears out, which is oftentimes true if you're shooting in grass and stuff like that. But uh, today we're gonna actually find out. So what I got, is I have uh, two of uh, five different brands, so I have 10 total to get us a good kind of variation um, to make sure one, if I just did it on one, maybe it was a thinner wall or I beat it up or maybe I'll crush one or lose one. So I wanted to get some extra in here. This guy's just extra. Um, so I have Blazer, I have this Browning X-Point Hollow Point Self-Defense. I got this uh, Fiocchi, Fiocchi, however you say that, somebody correct me. Um, Target ammo, I got my SIG, this is what I carry. And then I have another one, this, uh, what is it? Like uh, GECO, whatever. I'm gonna reload, shoot them, reload them, and uh, see how many times we're just gonna do it till they wear out. Um, I got a gajillion bullets over here, and then I brought about a thousand primers, so I should be able to reload all of them like a hundred times. I don't think they're gonna last that long. So let's go see. Okay, today we'll be shooting them out of my Springfield Hellcat because I forgot the SIG P320 at home. Um, I also forgot my speed loader, so I will be loading all of these by hand. Yippee, my fingers are going to hurt by the end of the day. 10 rounds in an 11 round magazine over and over and over. So let's do it. I got my brass catcher set up and a couple targets, so I figured I might as well have fun while doing it. Let's go see how the first five ran up through, go through. I've never had any issues with Hellcat, so... Okay, so it took me a while to find them, which uh, so further supports my theory that you'll lose them before you'll wear out. Um, but here they all are, they all look great. Um, I'm not gonna, normally you would tumble them at this point, but I don't have a tumbler here. So I did bring some nylon brushes and I'll just kind of scrub them out uh, in between reloads and then uh, reload it. Okay, here they all are all reloaded. Um, I'll put a picture in the to the spec that I'm reloading them to in the horny manual. Uh, my approximate velocities that I know from before. So we're gonna load them up, shoot them again. Okay, this is what they look like after the first factory shot and then one reload, pretty good. Let's do it again. the saddle for the third time. I'm going to crouch closer to this tarp. This is after two reloads, so factory plus two, so three total. Okay, this is time number four. I'm just going to watch my brass this time. I'm not even going to pay attention to where I'm shooting because uh, I keep struggling to find one every single time. It takes like five minutes. So, reload, four. reload plus factory. Okay guys, this is after five reloads. There's a Sig, Fiocchi, Browning, plus factory. Um, so it's pretty impressive how good they're doing. So I'm gonna reload them up five more times and if one fails, I'll let you know. If not, I'll just bust it out. Okay guys, so after spending almost half an hour searching for this 10th round, I could not find it even with my big old tarp over here. Anyway, so this is what they look af look like after they've been shot 10 times, let's see. And honestly, they look like they've only been shot like once or so. I mean, you can tell my dyes have been rubbing on them a little bit more, but I mean, they still look pretty darn good after 10 uh, reloadings plus the factory. So I'm gonna go ahead and do another five and then we'll see how they look at 15, 20 and so on. Okay guys, so this is what they look like after 15 re factory plus 15 reloads and 15 firings. But you can start to see really where the die has been rubbing on it every single time, the sizing die. I've been able to feel the sizing die, uh, you know, it's working on them. It's definitely, I can feel that it's working on them because they've been shot 15 times. I'd say they're still pretty good. So I'm going to go do another 5 or 10 and then talk about it.
Okay guys, so I'm 21 rounds in plus the factory. So it's 22 total on these casings. Uh, I've lost two. I have no clue where they're at. They're somewhere in that abyss. I don't know. Anyway, so I'm down to eight. I lost the second one just barely another one I think after eight. So they're looking still pretty decent. Um, what's interesting though is the, the inscription on the head, you can tell is starting to get mashed in slowly. So the, the inscriptions aren't quite as clear because the pressure back against the, uh, the slide or in an ARB or bolt. Still going, 21 rounds in, uh, reloads in, so I'm gonna keep going. Okay guys, I got my first failure and I just realized it when I was putting it on the press to reload it. So I have shot all of these 26 times plus the factory, so 27 rounds total. And the first one to fail is this one right here. There's the powder there. Uh, this is a one of the SIGs and it split right down the sidewall. You know, I'm glad to see it fail because I didn't want to be here all day. But after 26 that they're still going, I was like, I was like, what are these going to fail? I got so many. But okay, so uh, after 26, after I reloaded this one, I was putting the magazine, I realized both of the SIGs failed at, after 26 reloads. Here's these other ones after 30. Um, so here's the brand. I don't know what it is. Um, looking good. Here's the Fiocchi. It look Fiocchi, whatever. It looks good. Um, I mean, these cases have been through war. Here's the Browning self-defense, but they're still going. So I'm going to keep loading and shooting them until they fail. Okay. The Browning failed after 30. My thumbs really appreciate only having five rounds left. On the self protection channel. They, somebody was in a gunfight shooting between their legs on their back. It's unfortunate, but I better give it a shot. Ugh, besides, might as well change things up. Been here for freaking hours. Almost shoot better like that. Okay, guys, here's after 35... I got five left. Oh, never mind. That one just failed after 35. I literally looked at it and it was fine. So all the nickel ones are out. I've lost two brass and there's four brass ones remaining. Okay guys, so I've got 45 reloads on these and they're still kicking. You can tell, like, I mean, they're discolored. They're, I mean, the part of that's just being filthy. I bet you if I tumbled them, they'd be pretty, they'd be a lot cleaner. Uh, here's a brand new one, but 45, the best nickel plated one failed at 35. So these are going, I lost another brass one along the way. Um, I lost a brass one at 8, 21 and 36. So, oh well. Okay guys, they've all failed except this last one, which happens to be one of the blazers. And the latest one is on 56. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up this last round. Okay hey guys, so that is it. They have all failed now. So the SIGs were the first to go, the uh, nickel pl plated uh, self-defense ones at 26 both. The uh, Browning were second nickel plated also at 30 and 35. And then the, uh, I can't remember the order, but the, uh, the brass ones, Blazer, Fiocchi, and the other one failed at 51, 56, and 60. All the failures look something like this. Cracks along the neck, cracks along the whole body of the case. Um, that's how the SIGs failed. Or there was a crack right there. Uh, every single one just cracks. Okay guys, I hope that answered some of your questions that you may have had on how many times you can reload a casing. It's a question I've had ever since I started reloading. And for pistol rounds, for nine and anything similar pressure, you're looking for brass between 45 and 60 and nickel plated between 25 and 30. Um, and there you have it. Okay guys, if you have any other comments or experience on this, please put it in the section below. Thanks, see you guys.